Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. Today's statue will be the second from the series One Piece that's been showcased on my channel. This is all thanks to a very close friend of mine who we order statues together. Most times they ship to my place and I will drive them to him, but before I do, he usually lets me borrow some statues, unbox them, and share them with the channel. You might think, well bam, why don't you collect One Piece? Because I'd go broke. I mean, come on, it, it's, statues take up a lot of space. Uh, you have to store the cardboard boxes afterwards to make sure they maintain value. I just try to keep my focus, so thanks so much for friends who can let me do this. Nice classy font on the nameplate with Rora Nora Zoro. As you've seen so far, there's a giant realistic tiger head in the background. Now this is meant to be an interpretation of his ability that he uses, Torogari, which translates to tiger hunting. On the back, the addition size plate is mounted. It is number 67 out of 570 made. On the back is also some holes. Eventually, some kind of energy particles will be flowing and shooting out of there that I'll connect later on. Overall, this base is very unique and the tiger itself is very menacing. I won't forget when I first pulled it out of the package and my four-year-old daughter looked at it and was like, Dad, why do you have that tiger head? She was actually very happy that this one won't be sticking around for my collection long term. Next piece we'll be taking a look at is the claw that's included and mounted on the left side of the base. While the head of the tiger went for more realistic look, you can see here on the claw, it more goes for like a blue flame texture all around. It is mounted to the brace primarily with that magnet you saw on the bottom. The claws have a really clean and awesome looking paint job. You can see all those different shades of blue that were added on as it fades from light to dark. The hole here, like other parts of the statue, are for later effect pieces that we will install. KOL Studio did an amazing job at sculpting his head with that black bandana on. The head sculpt does have a magnet on the bottom of the head that attaches to the body, as well as inside of his mouth, which later we'll use to insert a sword. Because I don't own and collect a lot of One Piece personally, I do love what a treat it is to be able to see these in person. The pose they went for is extremely dynamic with everything moving. These pieces were sculpted separately, attached on via magnets. I love how many pieces were actually sculpted separately with this statue. For the body alone, there's about 12 different pieces that make it all come together to equal one sculpt. All sheaths were hand painted and perfectly done. You can see little notches that are coming out of each of them that will later allow them to attach to the red part of his sash on his outfit. This is the kind of engineering on a statue that always amazes me, how they intentionally had everything sculpted to be able to magnetize and fit into one right there. The legs part of the sculpt are pretty much all one piece. Now the leg that's standing up more straight does have a nice thick steel rod in the center. There's also a hole right here where the steel rod that's coming out of the bottom of the main part of the top body will also fit. With everything put together except for the swords, you can just see how Zoro looks like he jumped straight out of the show into this statue. If you haven't seen already, after this video, go ahead and check out my first One Piece statue that I showcased on the channel, which was of Sabo. That statue was unforgettable how amazing and huge that bad boy is. I am a simple man, and in the end, the swords are probably one of the biggest things that won me over in this statue. They are not made of plastic or resin. These bad boys are made of actual steel. Now they're not sharp on the edge part, but the tip of them are very sharp. To show you how real these are, I'm gonna take a credit card statement from all the statues that I buy and shred right through it. I'm totally joking by the way, do not charge statues. I pay cash for everything I get. Well, except for this one, this was a freebie. <laughs> Installing the swords on that is putting the cherry on the icing of this amazing cake of a statue.
For the final touches of the statue, we're gonna add some of these aura effects onto him. He only has one, and all over the statue, we're about to see numerous. I believe there's about 10 to 12 different pieces included sculpted separately. All of these pieces that were sculpted separately do look like the claw in that it's a blue flame look. And then I love how it goes from kind of a light to a clear resin texture where it actually looks like fire. If you enjoyed this unboxing and would love to see more One Piece statues, your comments below would be helpful in letting me know so I can bring more to the channel. As always, everybody, you know the drill. Do what you love, love what you do, bam out.